Grand Herd. We are the Herdsmen. I am Mark. I'm Grand. And you, you didn't try to make me laugh. Oh my gosh, you, you must be like distracted. I've, I've run out of stuff. <laughs> so anyway, we are back again today. Very excited. Having a little lighting issue here because the sun is out in northern Indiana in the fall, which is rare. And uh, for some reason, our uh, our sun is gonna is gonna keep lighting back there, and and so bear with us. Uh, hopefully, this will uh, work its way through. Anyway, very excited today because we are doing our venison sandwich again. Again, okay. So the Arby's venison steak sandwich. We did it last year. We drove two and a half hours to Michigan, Plainwell, Michigan, and we did this last year. <coughs> And it was, it was good, and I'm putting a, a link to our video from last year down there so you can compare the videos, uh, how we feel about it today and how we feel about it then. Uh, as I recall, I think we liked it last year. Yeah, it was, if I remember right, maybe it was about average, but considering this is nationwide, I would think that this, maybe they've stepped it up a notch. I hope so. I, I think that that is, that is important to note, that it is nationwide for one day today. So go ahead and give that a try while we're talking here just a little bit. Nationwide one day today. So hopefully last year, Arby's did the test place, okay? Plainwell, Michigan, Nashville, Tennessee, different places. Hopefully they went back to the drawing board and said, okay, here's what we heard. Here's what we heard that was good. Here's what we heard that was bad. How can we make this better? Because if they didn't, today is going to be very significant for them as far as if they're going to be able to release this sandwich because... If they did that, they will sell out of these quickly, I have a feeling. If they didn't, they're going to be sitting on hundreds, if not thousands, of venison steak sandwiches. Okay, so anyway, what do you think? Well, either way, we get a lot more. Yeah, <laughs> true. This looks delicious. I mean, it looks about medium rare, looks just absolutely fabulous. So go ahead and tell, tell us what you're thinking here. It is beautiful. If, if I remember right on my last review of this, it wasn't as distinct. This is really distinct. I love the the first thing that you get is like the BBQ sauce. That is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get the meat. It's just so rich <clears throat> and gamey. It, it's it's kind of weird, but it melts in your mouth like uh, a really good steak does. But it, it's it, it feels leaner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I will say a couple of things. First of all, this is better than it was last year, in yeah. my opinion. I think they did go back to the drawing board and, and said, look, what is good, what is bad. Um, this is a, you know, you said gamey. It's a little gamey compared to what we're used to, but it's not gamey in the sense that, oh my gosh, this is gamey. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, it's... It's pleasantly gamey. Yeah. And, and it's... it's um, there's a there's kind of a liver aftertaste to it. There, there's a little bit of an irony taste. Yeah, I, I get that too. I, I don't. Um, I, this is just really well done, though. I, yeah. They, they've done a really nice job on this. There is a, a I think it's a juniper barbecue sauce, and you've got the fried onions on here as well. Um, th this is a good sandwich. I and and it is so juicy and tender. I am so impressed with this. So, folks. Uh, get out now, okay? And it's, I, I, this is and it's not overly greasy. That's another big thing. This is this is the type of sandwich where you want as little grease as possible. Right? Yeah, and, and this is lean, lean. Uh, and and these are farm raised. I believe they're farm raised in Australia, uh, and they're trying to get them farm raised here in America. I'm just not sure where they stand on that. They're in the epic. Uh, in the epic. Um, so anyway. Folks, uh, you know, we're releasing this on the day it's happening, so go out. If you're seeing this video, go get one of these. Seven bucks, okay? This is worth seven bucks. This, yeah. This is a seven buck sandwich, definitely. No question in my mind. This is like a, a sit-down restaurant steak quality. Mm -hmm. It's it's really good. It's really tender. Uh, nothing overpowers it. This is a very balanced sandwich, too. Yeah. All right, let's give it some counts. Um... <clears throat> I'd say for rate of improvement and for just balance, I'm giving this four. I am it too. Really, it blows my mind. Yeah, I, I totally agree. This is this is one sandwich that when you 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 read about it, you want to do it. 
you want to get it, you get it. Yes, and it, it absolutely blows my mind that, that this is this is deer meat. Okay, in case some of you were just turning in and going, venison, what's that? And, and we didn't explain, but deer meat. Yes, and it's tremendous. Bambi was killed to create this sandwich. <laughs> it was it, enjoy it, him. He would it, want it. It's tremendous. It, it's really good. I don't know that it's Bambi because that would be like a young deer. I don't know though. Maybe they have young deer. Hmm. Let's hope it's not Bambi. That would kind of ruin Maybe it it's for me. Mom. Oh God, dark side. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that is all from us today. We hope you enjoy our videos. We thank you so much. We topped the 700. We're at 700 and some uh, subscribers. We, we love that. We love your comments because we always respond to... Seven of them. Seven of them. <laughs> we respond to all comments. So, make a comment. Let us, let us get a conversation going. And as always, until next time, don't be afraid to, to join, join the herd. herd. Yeah, herd! <laughs>